like a lighthouse, like a lighthouse. Always lost in space and you're not around. But I don't wanna drown. I don't wanna drown. Protect me from the waves when they come crashing down. Like a lighthouse, like a lighthouse. What's up? I'm Dusty. I'm here with another episode of the Launchpad on Moon Landing. I'm here with Ekanova again. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Hello again. I'm doing good, man. How about you? I, I'm doing well. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. How's the tour going, man? The tour is going so great. It has been already some of the best memories ever. I know I'm, I'm already. I already know I'm going to look back on it so fondly. It's been so much fun. Right now. I'm sort of in a break period. Yeah. I have a little under a week until the next show. Okay. Um, but by the time I do play the next show, I will I will have had a little more than two weeks off. Okay, yeah. Which has been nice. The rest is always beneficial. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's uh, it's it's my first tour, so that's been the learning curve is learning yeah. where to find time to sleep, and it's just, it's I, I'm really enjoying it. Don't get me wrong, but that it's totally it's definitely a thing yeah, I'm uh, it's I'm definitely learning. A huge step for you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Has there been a favorite venue you've played so far on tour? Oh, Dark Star for sure. Dark Star. Just playing a hometown show, it's it's so hard to top that. Just the the energy in the room is amazing Absolutely. and it's just lots of friends you were there. Yeah. It was it was so that, much fun. Um, it was incredible. You had St. Punk on tour as well. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. It's been great working with him and uh, doing a little bit of traveling with him too. So yeah, it's it's been it's been yeah, fun. It's, been, it's a really great mesh between you two on like him opening for you and you coming on after him and Yeah, I I like that our styles are so different because it just adds variety to the yeah. lineup and when I go to shows, I like having some variety. Maybe not completely different genres, but I don't want necessarily the same yeah, style the whole night. You know what yeah, I mean? It's, it gets tough when you have two of like the same act playing. Like you get a couple of tech house artists in a row, and you like it all meshes together. Right. When, and it, it's like when you two are together, it's really heavy bass house, and then it comes to you, and it's a little bit more laid back. And right. And not to say that there's a wrong way to do it, but I think it's just it's fun. Both both ways are fun, but I just wanted to do it this way for the oh, tour. Absolutely. So absolutely, it, it works perfectly. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, it's it's been fun working with them. And then you're making a, uh, a pr you have a project while you're on tour. You're making a song as you go through. Yes. Tell us a little yes. bit more on how that process is going. Okay. For you. Yeah. I, I during our first interview, I know we talked about that, and at that point in time, I think we had only five percent of the song was yeah, complete. Yeah, I think you only played Salt Lake City before. Right. That. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and now. In this present moment, I'm at about 75% completion, okay. which is awesome. Um, the most recent thing that happened is that the file became corrupt, oh, and no. I think I know what to do to fix it. So I'm not too concerned, but I just wasn't able to work on it during the last uh, tour stop. I, I made okay. a different song instead, which oh. so time was well spent. Okay, but, yeah. Um, there's just a little bit of a roadblock. I've got Groove Crews coming up. Okay. And um, yeah. that's that's a five day cruise, so I'll have that's a lot of LA a lot of time Cabo, to work. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'll have a lot of time to work on it then. Sounds good. So like I know we talked about it earlier. What elements have you brought from the said shows you've played into your tracks? I okay, yeah, we did talk about bringing different um, aspects of the cultures of the different cities. I have I haven't consciously put effort into doing okay. into doing so, but I have added different flavors and variety to the track, maybe not necessarily correlated to the different cities' culture, but definitely to the what the crowds are, yeah, the vibe are the vibing crowd, with. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, yeah, that, I feel like that even work, that works even better. Yeah, I I think it, it's, I think it's been more organic to yes. do it that way, yeah. Yeah, and then rather than blending from, like you could go from Chicago house to Detroit house and right those are two completely right. different genres and it's kind of tough to mesh that into one song right so I, I like I said yeah I think this is a little more organic but it's it's going smoothly uh, the next thing I have to do is to record vocals I think I have lyrics that I like okay so recording vocals I think is probably gonna be the next step sounds good other than Cabo do you uh, what other stops do you have coming up other than the hidden ones that are still on there <laughs> um, Probably the, the next stop I'm really excited for. It's um it's in Albuquerque. Okay. And I have family in Albuquerque, so I'm gonna make that trip a little longer than I would otherwise, so I can visit my grandpa. 
and visit some cousins and um, it, that's going to be a lot of fun. Just Family time has been hard to squeeze in yeah. the last couple years, so any excuse that I have where I can see family who who who, who aren't in Arizona, I got to take advantage Fa of that. Family's everything, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can spend that just that little extra time, it'll mean the world to them too. Yeah, very true. Agreed. So one thing we like to uh, like to preach here on Moon Landing is gratitude. Yes. On your tour or just within the EDM community, what's one thing you like to? express your gratefulness to in a sense I, I don't remember if I said this during our last interview but a few years ago before COVID hit I was so upset when there was a smaller crowd or a smaller room and that's just the first thing that came to mind I'm so grateful for any show I mean COVID taught have taught us that any if there's a room and there's anyone inside the room dancing, I'm happy. So yeah. I'm just so grateful for the fact that I'm on the road playing my own music that I that I make in my bedroom. Yeah. That I get to play out. It's yeah. just an, it's an unreal feeling, and some of the shows on the tour have been really amazing and really packed, and some of them haven't been, and that's okay. And regardless, I always have met amazing people on every stop. I'm just grateful for the experience. Absolutely. And I believe it's more than telling that those fans that are there for those smaller room shows are the ones that are dedicated to listening to your brand. Dude, style. yeah, sometimes sometimes it's it's, uh, it's quality over quantity. And th Absolutely. those people have been so awesome to me, and they've been so just generous and kind with, with things that they've told me, with just just like with them following my music and... It's unreal to me that, that people, like in cities that I haven't been to yet, yeah. they listen to my music. It's, it's just... It's, it's incredible to see, dude. It's incredible thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, I've been Dusty with the moon landing on Launchpad. I'm here with Ekanova. Thank you for coming on. Dude, thank you so much for another interview. I appreciate you, dude. Absolutely. Signing off. Always seem to grieve you when you're not around. Yeah, I still hear you sound. Down. Protect me from the waves when they come crashing down Like a lighthouse, like a lighthouse Always lost in space when you're not around But I don't wanna drown, I don't wanna drown Protect me from the waves when they come crashing down Like a lighthouse, like a lighthouse